Hi friends, this is Naresh. Welcome back to my channel Technical Talks with Naresh. So today we are going to prepare a video on import or create the suppliers in Oracle Fusion. But we are doing the import. Okay, so by using the FVDI, we are trying to achieve this. So previously also I had uploaded one video on FVDI, but which is for the journal import from the AP side. Now I am just uploading this video based on the SCM for the supplier import. Before starting, I just want to say that if you are new on my channel, please like, share, subscribe my channel. If you want to learn the Oracle Fusion, go through my Fusion playlist where you can find various video for the learning purpose. So moving back to the topic, for seeing this concept practically, we have to go first on the Oracle Fusion instance screen. So this is the home page of my Oracle Fusion instance. So what we have to achieve, we have to do the supplier import. Okay. So for that, first of all, we need to download that FBDI template. Okay. So how we can download that FBDI template. So we have to go to the Oracle Fusion site. Okay. So this is the Oracle site, which is for the FBDI here. You can get all the respective FBDI for which version they are compatible. That is also given. Okay. So it is for the 22C. So now I have to do the supplier import. So for that, just I have to go to the supplier module and here is an import supplier. So suppose you have to import the supplier side, then you also having the template over here, but I have to import a supplier. So I'm just clicking on the import supplier. Then after here is an XML template. I just have to click on this respective link. So it will download the template for me. Okay. So my template is downloaded. Okay. So here you can find the other details also. Okay. So I'm just going to downloads and opening that respective template, which we had downloaded. So this is the template which we had downloaded. So there are the two tabs. So in first tab, there is some data and in second tab, we are having all the respective details. Okay. So here there are the lot of suppliers, which is already given by them. So I'm just finding this columns. So, but we don't have to do that much of the supplier because maybe this is, these are already present. Now what I'm just doing, I'm just deleting this rows. Then after I'm just writing the batch name. So batch name is nothing but the batch which we are using to progress our FBDI. Okay. So I'm just giving the batch name as batch underscore a triple one. Then what we are giving, we are having here the import action. So what import action we are having? So I have to create this respective suppliers. So I'm just selecting create over here. You can select multiple option here. That is an update or create. Suppose you have to update some data also. You can update that also. Then I'm just changing the supplier name to my channel name. That is a technical talks with Naresh. Okay, then there are few things that is a tax organization. I am keeping same then supplier type is supplier. Then business relationship is also prospective. Then there is a different thing. Then the country is also there. So taxpayer country, suppose US only tax ID. So every supplier is having the different tax ID. So what I'm doing, so I'm just adding the some other tax ID here. So I'm just making the change over here. I'm just making 95. Then after we can you can check all the respective column which values are there. You, you can insert the different value also for for the supplier. Okay, so we are having multiple columns here. If you have to add, you can add that respect to columns also. But which are the mandatory columns? So that mandatory columns only given in this template by Oracle for us. So I am just keeping that only and what I am doing, I am just going to the sheet one. So after going to sheet one, here is an a generate CSV file. Okay. So you have to click on this generate CSV file, but, bef but before that you have to enable the macros in your Excel. So I am just enabling that one to get this zip generated. So I am just clicking on generate file. So as soon as you clicked on generate file, it will generate one zip file that we have to save. So I am just saving it on my desktop as the name supplier FBDI underscore tech. Okay. And I'm saving it on the desktop. Okay. So you can get this message that is in a CSV and zip file has been created. Just click on okay and close this file. Again, go back to your 
Oracle Fusion home screen. So I am on the Oracle Fusion home screen. Now what we have to do? We just have to upload this respective zip file which we had just created. So here click on the navigator. Then after for uploading this file go to tools and there is an, a schedule process. Submit one schedule process for this. So go to schedule process and click on here schedule new process. So once you click on schedule new process the pop-up will come. So here you have to write the process name. So our process name is then a load interface file for import. So just you can write load percent interface like that and just tab out. So once you tab out it will try to search with that respective process and once it find it will show you on the screen. So see I am having only one process with the same name. So it came that is a load interface file for import and just click on OK button. As soon as you clicked on OK button it will prompt you the parameter window. OK so we have to give two parameter over here. First one is an import process. So what we are importing here? We are importing the supplier. So click on the drop down and select your process. So my process name is here import supplier. So this is my process. I am just selecting this one. And then after here you have to browse the respective data file. So my data file I had saved on desktop. So I am just uploading that data file by clicking on upload a new file. So I am just browsing. So this is my data file and I am just clicking on OK button. So you can see the file is uploaded. Now just click on the submit. As soon as you click on submit it will submit one process. So this is the process ID. Just click on the OK button and here is the refresh icon. Just refresh it. So it will submit this program that is a load interface file for import. So this will also submit few child programs also. Just click on refresh again. So you can see the file transfer program is submitted. So and it is also succeed but our load interface still running. So try to refresh till it gets succeed. Okay. So see again one program is submitted that is load file to interface and load interface file for import is also succeeded. So all programs are succeeded. Now the data is inserted into the interface table. Okay. So we can check that it is inserted or not. So for how we can check you can check on from the back end. So I am just going one data model and there we will write one query to get the data. Okay. So I am just giving the name then after the fusion db and then I am writing one query. So I am writing here select star from my interface table name that is an poz underscore supplies underscore int and I am just ordering it by creation date. So order by creation underscore date. Okay and des descending order just click on ok button so it will give you the list of all the columns now click on this data and click on this view button so it will do some processing and then after it will show you the data so click on this table view so what batch we had created that is an a triple one so it is there and this is my vendor name okay technical talks with Naresh. so our data is inserted into the interface table now second what we have to do we have to insert this data into the supplier table and the respective tables. Okay so what I have to do I again have to go to the schedule process window and so I have to submit one ESS job. So I am just submitting one another ESS job so I am just clicking on this schedule new processes and here we have to schedule the job as an import supplier. So this pop-up will came so now from here we have to select import supplier. So this is the import supplier so I am just selecting this one and clicking on ok and again I had clicked on ok and now see here one pop-up will come for entering the parameters. So here the import option it should be new then report expectations only so that is no and here is an a batch id so what is our batch id so that is nothing but the batch underscore a triple one i am just giving that and clicking on submit as soon as you clicked on submit so it will submit one process and give you the process id just click on ok and here click on the refresh so it had submitted one ess job so you can see import supplier ess job is submitted and which is in the running status again try to refresh so you can see 
created one another job that is the nothing but the update supplier keyword search index and source to the settle counts so i am just refreshing again so see the import suppliers it is an succeeded so just click on this respective import supplier job so it will show you the detail and here are two attachments click here more so here you can find the pdf and the log so if you open the pdf so you will get the detail that supplier is imported or not if the supplier is not imported so it will show into the first line and if it is imported it will show you over here how many suppliers are imported so our supplier is imported that's why the count is one if you want to check the log also so you can just download that respective log and you can check the log also so i'm just opening the log so here you can find the respective details okay so again we will cross validate the supplier is generated or not so i'm just going to the data model screen again going to the diagram and editing the same query so here the supplier will get stored into the z party table so i'm just writing here select star from z parties and here the supplier name should be stored into the party name column so i'm just writing the where party name like tech okay and i am just clicking on the okay button because we had given the party name as a technical talk with narish that's why i had written that tech then again clicking on data again clicking on view and then table view okay so there are lot of records with the tech so what we will do we will just go to diagram again and we will modify our query by order by clause so order by creation date desc and just click on okay again again go to data again click on view again table view and now we just check the details so see this is the supplier which is imported today only that is september 2022 we will cross check the name also so see this is the name technical talks with narish okay so other detail also there unique supplier name then after this organization we had given this party id is automatically generated all the things which we had given that are present into this table okay so this is not hitting only one table it will hit multiple table also so if you go to the csv here they are already given that how many tables it is hitting so as it parties as it organization profiles as it party user assignments so these all tables will get hitted by this fvd okay so by this way we can create or we can import any numbers of an supplier okay so in next video we will see that how to import the supplier sites also okay for the same supplier or any other different supplier we will import the supplier site If you have any doubts you can write into the comment section please like share subscribe my channel thank you for watching